So tonight I'm going to show you how to make sesame shrimp. These are the items and the ingredients that you will need. I have 16 beautiful succulent colossal shrimp. Some soy sauce. You're going to need about four tablespoons of soy sauce. You're going to need roughly about four tablespoons of sesame oil. You will need a half cup of Heinz tomato ketchup. You're going to need four tablespoons of honey. You are going to need a couple tablespoons of sesame seed. You're going to need some green onion, four tablespoons of cornstarch for your sauce, and you will need a little bit just to bread these beautiful shrimp right here. Garlic powder, season it with less or more to your own liking. Some ground black pepper, some vegetable oil, to fry your shrimp. And what are you gonna fry them in? This right here, this beautiful cast iron skillet. Let's go ahead and season up these beautiful shrimp. Kosher salt, our beautiful garlic powder. Now you got some ground black pepper. Go ahead and mix all those seasons in there. Cover every single shrimp, cover every one, every one. All right, so now what we're going to do is coat our beautiful shrimp in this right here, cornstarch. And then we'll go ahead and fry them up inside that beautiful skillet. What we'll do is go ahead and let them drain in this good old basket right here. All right, so you got your pretty little shrimp all out the way. Your soy sauce, you're going to need four tablespoons of that. Yes, right, four tablespoons of honey. This right here. Now we'll need two tablespoons of this right here sesame oil a half cup of ketchup so as you can see our sauce has come to a nice boil we're going to mix and whisk in our corn starch and water mixture and you're going to mix this until it's all dissolved and you'll slowly add it to your ketchup honey soy sauce and sesame oil mixture Here is your sesame shrimp. Oh yeah, I'm gonna tear this up. I even hit it up with a little bit of basmati rice. You can't have the sesame shrimp without the rice now. Come on now. Go ahead, dig right in. All right, so tonight I had a dilemma. I had a taste for seafood, which you see these beautiful shrimp, and I also had a taste for Jamaican food. So I went and looked inside the seasoning cabinet and I found this right here, this beautiful Jamaican curry by Mimi's. It is absolutely the best. So why not make some curry shrimp? Duh, let's do that. So I went ahead and sliced up two onions, sliced them very thin. I don't like large chunks inside my curry anything. That's just me. I don't care for it, but you know, to each his own, do what you like. So then I put them inside the skillet, put about roughly three tablespoons of vegetable oil in there. And we're gonna go ahead and toss those onions in there. Now the thing is, we are going to cook these not completely tender. You're going to cook them partially tender. You still want them to have a crispiness, a little bit of a snap to them. And it calls for a better presentation, if you will. Be sure to move those onions around in that cast iron skillet because cast iron tends to get very hot and it will scorch your food. Nobody wants a plate of burnt food. I know I don't. Don't you walk away from that skillet. Keep your eyes on it. Babysit that skillet. So I looked in the freezer and said, let me go ahead and bring out the sugar snap pea stir fry. Let's do that. You know, for some veggies. You got to have some veggies with your food. You know what I mean? So I said, let's pull that out and throw it inside that skillet with a little bit of vegetable oil again. And so we're going to cook these until they're your desired tenderness. Some like their uh, peas and things to be very snappy. And, you know, it has a beautiful watercress in there. But cook them to your desired tenderness. If all else fails, follow the instructions on the package. That's the best thing to do. And so now that our veggies are done, I said, let's go ahead and pull out three tablespoons of butter. We're going to toss that into a skillet. We're going to melt that on up. Be sure to keep your skillet on a medium high heat as you do not want to burn your butter. That calls for a very disgusting taste, if you will. Then what we'll do next is go ahead and toss the shrimp into that skillet with the butter. Season it up with your curry seasoning. Less or more depending on your own taste bud. Some like a lot of curry, some like a little. But to each its own, do what works for you. Now you can go ahead and add your onion to that. It's not going to take long for this to be done because that beautiful golden yellow is, oh, it's calling my name. Isn't it calling yours? 
Makes you want to bite your screen, doesn't it? And you'll come out with something like this right here. Hit it with that basmati rice, the best rice there is, and went and put that beautiful stir fry around it. Those succulent, beautiful curry shrimp, it's going to be wonderful. Go ahead and enjoy your curry shrimp. I'm going to show you how to make a spicy peanut shrimp and chicken pasta. You will need here about a pound of cubed chicken breast. 10 beautiful succulent colossal shrimp. You will need some peanuts, some dry roasted peanuts. You'll need this right here. This Panda Express orange sauce. Powerful stuff. Some minced garlic. You're going to need some cornstarch. You're going to need two yellow onions that have been sliced thin. Vegetable oil. For seasoning, you will need about three sprigs of fresh thyme, some kosher salt, and some cayenne pepper, some coriander seed. You're going to need some angel hair pasta, a three quart pot, a good old cast iron skillet. Let's go ahead and start cooking. Season up our meat, kosher salt, cayenne pepper. All right, so let's go ahead and mix those seasonings in there. Mix that in there. Let's do the chicken first. It's gonna be good, I promise. All right, let's start frying. Drop them in there, and when they're done, take them right on now. Now that the chicken is done, it's on to the shrimp. So we're going to cook these roughly on each side for about a minute and a half. All right, now that our shrimp are done, let's go ahead and get them out of there. Two tablespoons of that. That's all you're gonna need for this part. Remember the onions? We're gonna throw that in there. It's a time. Two teaspoons of minced garlic. Our wonderful orange sauce by Panda Express. Thank you, Panda. We'll hit it with some more and more caliente. Hit it with a little more cayenne pepper. Our good old peanuts. Remember we said we're gonna put peanuts in it? Yeah, we're putting peanuts in it. Mix all that in there like that. Bring it to a simmer. So our sauce has come to a nice and beautiful simmer. There. Throw your shrimp, your chicken. Throw it in that sauce. Toss it around in there. Toss that around there, just like that. Here is your spicy peanut chicken and shrimp pasta. Eat your heart out, enjoy. Get your fork, get your knife, go to work. I'm going to show you how to make honey walnut shrimp. What you will need is some shrimp. I have seven here. You'll need a quarter cup of cornstarch, maybe a half cup. You will need one egg. You will need some black pepper to season and some kosher salt to season. You will also need about a cup of water to boil and about a quarter cup of granulated sugar. You'll also need about three tablespoons of honey. You will need about a quarter cup of walnuts and about three tablespoons of Hellman's mayonnaise. You'll need a pot to boil the water in and you'll need a skillet to fry the shrimp in. Add oil to your skillet and put it on a medium heat. Let's season up our shrimp with the salt and with the black pepper. Mix that in there with a spoon. Get all the seasoning in there. Then you want to whisk an egg. You can now egg wash your shrimp. You will bread the shrimp with the cornstarch and pat the cornstarch into it. Then you will fry the shrimp until golden brown. Our shrimp are done. So now let's set them aside. Let's start boiling our water and our sugar. Bring it to a rapid boil and then you will add honey to that. Continue to whisk to avoid sticking. It will become like this and then what you will do is turn off the heat. You will add your walnuts to that. Mix all of that in there. Then you will add your mayonnaise. Mix that in there. Set it aside. Now you will combine your shrimp with your honey walnut mixture and you will come up with something beautiful like this right here. Here is your honey walnut shrimp. 
man oh man beautiful enjoy i will be showing you how to make sun-dried tomato shrimp you will need 16 jumbo shrimp your sun-dried tomatoes you will need a cup of that and what we'll do is we'll chop these coarsely and you will need a teaspoon of minced garlic you will need several sprigs of fresh thyme a quarter cup of this right here some extra virgin olive oil, a half cup of white cooking wine or regular white wine for those that like the sauciness. You know, this is distilled. It doesn't have all the toxicity in it, but you know, if you like yours to be a little toxic, do what you got to do. About a teaspoon and a half of basil, about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of salt, a half teaspoon of ground black pepper. We're going to have some angel hair pasta. We're going to put it on top of that. You need this right here. Good old cast iron skillet. Got these right here, your sun-dried tomatoes. Just chop these up kind of coarse, so they don't need to be very fine. It's real good. You know, something about tomato and basil, I love the flavor of that. Anybody else out there like that? And we're going to go ahead and drop that quarter cup of olive oil inside that skillet. Our thyme, throw that in there. Drop your garlic. And you're gonna drop your basil. And you will drop tomatoes, tomato. Really delicious. I promise you, you'll love the smell. Oh man, it's great. The salmon. A white cooking wine to that. Pour that in there. Throw them shrimp in there. As you can see, it's a very quick meal. Add that teaspoon of salt. Add that half teaspoon of ground black pepper. You're gonna toss it around in that sauce. It's all about the sauce. Tell your neighbor it's all about the sauce. It's all about the sauce. All right, all right, all right. So here is your sun-dried tomato shrimp over angel hair pasta. Yes, ma'am. Okay, here we go. Mm. Jesus, this is great. An Argentinian shrimp taco. You will need some jumbo red Argentinian shrimp, some super soft flour tortilla, some Vigo, yellow rice eat some cheese some sour cream you're going to need that fresh parsley eat a lime one small little onion a small tomato about a half teaspoon of black pepper about two teaspoons of garlic powder about a tablespoon of kosher salt a half teaspoon of basil about a quarter cup of olive oil you need this right here cast iron skillet a little pot for your rice so our yellow rice is on. Let's go ahead and season these bad boys up. We're going to hit it with this right here. It's here. Some garlic powder. Some black pepper. And mix this all together. Mix those good old seasons in there. Yellow rice is done. And our red Argentinian shrimp are done. Run it up. You see those little brown spots? That's what you want. Let's put it all together and show you how it's done. Here's your Argentinian red shrimp taco. I'm so glad I did tacos tonight. Do this. Do this right here. You're going to love it. So tonight we will be making shrimp and grits with andouille sausage. Sort of like a Creole shrimp and grits, if you will. You will need a half pound of colossal shrimp, one andouille sausage that has been peeled out of the casing, half of a yellow bell pepper, half of a red bell pepper, half of a green bell pepper, the whole yellow onion, two teaspoons of minced garlic, three quarter cup of salted butter, about three quarter cup 
of shredded yellow cheese, some old fashioned or quick grits, some old bay seasoning, some basil. Need a medium sized pot for your grits. The good old cast iron skillet. First, let's go ahead and drop our andouille sausage in this here skillet, right? Let's go. All right, so now we've got our grits inside the pot. What we're going to do is cook this till it gets to a boil. I like to keep a whisk as well. Keeps the clumps out of your grits. Now we can go ahead and peel our shrimp. So now we can go ahead and add that two teaspoons of Old Bay to them. It's all about making a pretty presentation. All right, so let's chop up our onion. We'll leave them kind of coarse. Let's do that. Hey, remember those shrimp that we seasoned up? Say hello to my little friend. So we're gonna throw them inside there, saute these bad boys up. Oh man, the grits are just about done. Some cheese, and we're gonna add it to that right here. So remember that minced garlic that we saw earlier in the beginning of the video? A tablespoon to that. We're gonna mix that in there. So our andouille sausage is done. Let's just slice this up just a little bit more. Crisco, butter. Throw that in there. I'm gonna saute your veggies right inside that skillet. Our shrimp is done, aren't they pretty? Mix it all up. I'm gonna add that andouille sausage to that, like we said. Look at the grits. It's your Cajun shrimp and grits. It's good, good. It's good, good, good. Make some buffalo shrimp. What you need is some colossal shrimp, some sweet baby raised barbecue sauce, about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of Old Bay seasoning, about a teaspoon of garlic powder. You need you a teaspoon of some onion powder. A skillet with some hot cooking oil in it. Some flour. You gotta bread the shrimp if you're gonna buffalo them. Hit it with that Old Bay. A teaspoon of garlic powder, onion powder. Mix all the seasoning into that shrimp. Flour these bad boys up. And it's not gonna take long to cook them. It's gonna take maybe a minute to a minute and a half inside the grease. Let's drop this in there. All right, so our shrimp has been fried up. It's all golden and everything. Look at that right there. So now we can go ahead and drop it inside that Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. But I'm gonna jazz it up just a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of Tabasco sauce. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of Domino Brown sugar. Of, uh, something extra, put a little bit of stank on it. That garlic powder. <laughs> Some quarter teaspoon right here of the onion powder. We're just gonna mix this all up. Yellow mustard oil, about a quarter teaspoon of that. Oh yeah, that's good, that's powerful. Toss that right there. Oh yeah. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and drop these inside the oven for about a good 10 minutes. A buffalo shrimp, would you look at that? Isn't that beautiful? All right, so I'm glad that you watched. But I'm about to go tear this up, peace. So tonight I'm going to be making Parmesan crusted shrimp. You will need some colossal shrimp, some breadcrumbs, some grated Parmesan cheese, some granulated garlic, ground black pepper, and we have some salt, along with two eggs.
our garlic parmesan crusted shrimp are officially done. 